Here's a submission from Rolla Sway, who is having a problem with the quad sometimes, not always, but pretty often. When I give max throttle, the quad gets stuck at a particular input for about half a second, then everything is back to normal again. It just keeps going in whatever direction I had for a short moment. This immediately sounds to me like you're having a fail-safe event. Uh, fail-safe means that either the receiver has lost radio link with the transmitter, or the receiver is, has lost its physical wired connection with the flight controller. Since this is associated with you going to full throttle, I think that it is probably the latter. In other words, the wire that is connecting your receiver to the flight controller, when you go to full throttle, the additional vibration that occurs because the motors are going super fast is causing some physical connection. The wire is, is loose, there's a bad solder joint, there's a bad connection. Something about that vibration causes the connection to uh, disconnect. The good news is that this is really, really easy to check in black box, and we'll get to that in a second. But I do want to say one more thing before we do that, and that is that the holding positions when you get a fail safe, it could be caused by clean flight or it could be caused by your receiver. And it's really important that you know which of those two it is. Depending on your, how your receiver is set up, the receiver may be set up to hold the last channel position when a radio fail safe happens. And if that's the case, that's, that is a big deal because Clean flight will never know that a failsafe has happened. The only way for clean flight to know that a failsafe has happened is if the receiver tells clean flight that the receiver has lost radio link. And if the receiver holds last position when the radio link goes down, then clean flight will never know that that's happened. So it's very, very important that you set your receiver up. If your receiver has the ability to go no pulses when it goes into failsafe, what that means is the receiver simply stops sending data to the flight controller. It's as if it was unplugged. That's the best scenario. Uh, you may also be able to set up a fail-safe kill switch, and that's useful if the receiver has the ability to go to a pre-configured fixed channel position when a fail-safe happens. What, what that would mean is you would set the fail-safe kill switch mode up, and then you would set the receiver to activate the kill switch via an aux channel whenever the receiver went into fail-safe. A final thing you can do is you can set your throttle channel to be below rx min usec which is if you look in the cli and type get rx underscore min underscore usec that is the minimum valid uh throttle value or the minimum valid rc value that that clean flight will recognize and if you set your throttle channel to go below that value when your receiver goes into fail safe then clean flight will immediately go into fail safe because one of the channels has become invalid so those are things you can do if you have the ability to set your receiver to go no pulses, or if you have the ability to set your receiver to go to a pre-configured and fixed channel value when the receiver goes into failsafe. If you don't have the ability to do either of those two things, it's a little questionable whether your receiver is appropriate for use with a multi-rotor or frankly even a fixed wing. But here's the thing, with a fixed wing, if your receiver holds the last channel position, there's a good chance that many fixed wings that many people would be flying, it's not going to be a, a catastrophic problem if the if the plane sort of just keeps flying for a little bit, right? It's going to, the wings are going to keep generating lift and so on and so on. But with a multi-rotor, uh, many of our multi-rotors are so high powered. They have four props, four dangerous props that could really hurt somebody. And I don't mean to downplay the risk of a fixed wing crashing into something, but it just seems like a multi-rotor being out of control during a fail-safe event is more potential for, for, for bad things to happen than a fixed wing. So if your receiver does not have the ability to do a proper fail-safe, which means no pulses or fixed channel positions, then you really ought to think about whether you should be getting a different receiver or if you're a different uh, transmitter, really, because there are some transmitters out there who simply don't support a receiver that does a proper fail-safe. Uh, and, and if that's the case, I mean, I understand we all get into the hobby. We, you know, you spend the money you have, you have to sometimes make compromises. I get that. But at the end of the day, if your receiver doesn't do a proper fail safe, that's a pretty big deal. And you may not have known about that when you bought your transmitter. Okay, moving on. I don't think that this is an RF fail safe. And the reason is it's hard for me to imagine what would happen when you raise the throttle that would cause the radio link to drop. Maybe you have a bad solder joint or a bad connection on your antenna on the model 
and when you go to full throttle, it, they, that comes loose, maybe. That, that, that's not usually the case. Usually it's going to be the wire connecting the receiver to the flight controller that is the issue. So let's take a look. You say the problem happens around the five second mark and also at 55 seconds. I've got your log loaded up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to add a custom graph and I want to look at the field rx signal received and i want to look at the field fail safe phase that'll be and let's look at the field also rx flight channels valid or rx channels valid so rx flight channels valid is whether all of the channels are within the acceptable range of rx min usec to rx max usec uh, in other words, are any of the channels going outside the allowable range? Rx signal received is, are we receiving a signal at all? And fail-safe phase is when we go into stage two. What I've seen is that fail-safe phase will actually not change until we go into stage two fail-safe. So there's two stages of clean flights fail-safe. One is stage one, where the initial period when you've lost the signal, but the copter is hoping that the signal will come back and it can just keep flying, and that's stage one fail-safe. And that lasts, I think, by default for one full second and clean in beta flight it does anyway. And then after that expires, if the signal still hasn't come back, then the copter goes into stage two failsafe, in which it will either just kill the motors and drop, or they can try to do the auto level auto landing thing, but I don't recommend that for reasons I've discussed elsewhere. I don't think it works very well, and I don't think it's a good idea. So we'll watch all three of these things and see what happens at around the five second mark in your flight. So here the throttle goes up and we can see, I can see that the sticks freeze. Now we're looking at RX signal received fail safe phase and flight channels valid. Fail safe phase is idle and I haven't seen RX signal received or RX flight channels valid change. But let's go down to the bottom. If I scroll down here, I can see Signal received is one, flight channels valid is one. That means that the flight controller is seeing valid channels, everything is normal. But I do see that things have frozen up here and presumably you didn't freeze your stick because especially because, boom, now I see it drop. I expected to see it, uh, I expected to see it jump because I expected that you would have moved the stick or dropped the throttle and it would drop immediately. I don't see it drop immediately. It's, it it's goes down gradually, but presumably you didn't hold the stick steady. Let's look at 55 seconds. Yeah, and there's, a, there's that drop I was looking for. Yeah, hmm. Maybe there's some kind of interpolation going on in clean flip in the, in the viewer. I don't know. But yeah, I see where things are freezing up and your sticks aren't moving. Okay, the fact that we don't see any failsafe and that we see arc signal received and arc flight channels valid staying at, uh, staying at true tells us that the connection between the receiver and the flight controller is is fine. Then we have to ask what could cause this to happen. And the number one thing that could be causing this to happen now is in fact a radio link issue. So I'm going to guess that your receiver holds less value on failsafe and I'm going to guess that you're having a an RF failsafe event. Um, I think that the uh, FlySky i6 has uh, has telemetry, so it should be giving you RSSI telemetry to tell you if you're having a radio drop, radio link event. But that's really that that, that has to be what this is. There's nothing else in clean flight that would cause the channels to freeze like that. And certainly, I can't think of anything. The only thing I can think of in clean flight that would cause the channels to freeze like that is going to be a failsafe, but we can see that we're not going into failsafe. So then we have to ask what's causing, we have to assume that clean flight is seeing what's actually happening. The channels are freezing, so then what's causing them to freeze? And it has to be that the receiver is sending a freeze, a frozen value, and the most likely thing for that is going to be an RF failsafe. Okay, hope that was helpful. Happy flying.